Comments made by Milan Lucic. East Van Boy, we have that East Van Boy's rugby coach with us this morning, Ken McKenzie. Thank you for taking the time to be with us. Oh, thanks for having me. We wanted to add some human context to this story that is really blowing up um, internationally with those comments just heard uh, by Milan. You are one of his inner circle when it comes to his sports world. What were your thoughts when you first saw that clip? Well, you, you get kind of disappointed, you know, that, that it obviously happens to him in, in his city. And you kind of wonder, you know, what provoked this whole thing? What, what would cause somebody to just attack uh, a so-called sports celebrity? You know, is it sort of the gunslinger in town mentality, the old west that, that the gunslinger comes in, so you got to protect your own turf? Uh, is it something that happened a year and a half ago with the Stanley Cup, which is lingering on in this? city or is it just alcohol fueled and or a combination of all three but it, it uh, you know it's just something that shouldn't happen that's that's just that's just not right when you look at the history that you had with Milan to to give the viewers a bit of context what was your relationship uh, uh, coaching wise with, with uh, Milan uh, he played rugby for us in, at Killarney High School in uh, grade 8 9 and 10 and then when he made the Giants uh, in grade 11 uh, he was sort of transferring back and forth, and, and, and he was, was billeted for his uh, uh, grade 12 year out in South Delta, and uh, then he came back for grad. So, so you, you get a feel of who he is, his character, his passion for the game. Are you surprised that uh, we end up seeing a reaction like this, given how emotional he is when it comes to uh, certain outcomes? Yes and no. Uh, he, he is a very emotional guy. Sometimes you think of people, you know, that size and a professional athlete and and and, and you know and a, and a, a rugged boy. Uh, but he is pretty sensitive down deep inside. He's very sensitive, and uh, in that regard. No. Uh, also, you know, this is almost like the third strike. There was the thing with the church. There was the thing with his parents and grandparents and. You know, now it's, now it becomes an attack, a personal attack on himself. So, no, I don't, I don't think so. You can see the fiery side of him clearly when he competes. He's always conducted himself in such a classy manner and been such a great uh, representation of who we are here. Were you surprised at all at just how far he went in saying, "I'm never going to be seen downtown again"? Again, again, I don't think so. I, no. I, you know, I think that that's, you know, as most of us would have an immediate reaction. I think maybe over a period of time that might cool down to, right. to some degree. Um, but uh, he's he's pretty strong-willed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the Slav in him. I can say that. My mother's last name, maiden name is Jancic. So we've got the Lucic Jancic thing going on, and it is a very proud. Um, it, it's more than just him being attacked. It seems like this is more about what's happened to his family here. I think so. I think it's it's gone from, you know, the community to his fam to his family to to himself, and it's it's getting narrower. And, and I and I think that that's that's strike three. As a coach, what do you think is the lesson to be learned out of something that that happens like this? Uh, a lot of young athletes look up to someone like Milan. We know he's an incredible athlete. He's represented Vancouver well. And now when you have words like this um, and, and the reaction, what do you think is the big lesson? Well, I think, you know, he's he's got to make some decisions too. And, and maybe being out, you know, late at that night, it, it maybe wasn't the wisest thing to do. But what do you do at your home? You know, once in the season, you see your family, your friends, and, and everybody that you grew up with, and uh, uh, it's certainly very possible that you would go out and, and, and have your last night, especially when uh, the coach says, you know, we're leaving tomorrow, no curfew tonight, do what you like. Pretty hard for a young 25-year-old to say, well, I'm, I'm just going to stay in, and, and uh, when you've got the other side pulling you to the other direction. Certainly that can't be forgotten in all of this. He's 25 years old and lives with a great deal of pressure on his shoulders just to do what he does each and every day. So hopefully we can find some middle ground on uh, the fieriness of his comments. Yeah. Thank you for being here and giving us the, the personal side and bringing those wonderful photos, seeing oh. you sip out of the Stanley Cup. That must have been something Yeah, special. it's a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having me. All right, more of your comments on social media. Keep chiming in on Facebook. We'll share those in the eight right now. Let's head back over to Thor.